Hi, my name is Erno, and you can find me on ErnoHunting.com. This week I've been reading Maximizing LinkedIn for Sales and Social Media Marketing. This is a book by Neil, Sh Neil Sheffer. I hope I pronounced his name right. This book is when you already are busy on LinkedIn. You are working it with, you know, once a week or something but you have improved your profile a bit and but you want to do more with it you want to gain new clients you want to have more leads from it you want to have more you know interaction with people on linkedin this is a great book for you when you are not very active on linkedin i mean you haven't changed your profile you haven't touched it in years or you are you are not on linkedin then i think his first book understanding leveraging and maximizing linkedin will be a great book for you you'll get to look it up on his website Let's talk about this book. This book, I've been reading this book because I got the book from the Social Media Book Club. And I'm gonna talk about what I found, what I think about the book. What I really like about the book is that each chapter has a case study of people that have been using LinkedIn in a successful way for their business or for their company. And a funny thing is that you know while I was reading this, one of the chapters had a case study which talks about um, the husband of my niece. He works with Philips in the medical sector, in the health sector, and they've started a group, or actually, you know, he started a group for Philips on LinkedIn, and this group now has over 40,000 connections. So it is a great way to find new, well, actually, let prospects find you because you're a very active and successful group. People will go to the group and you will see new people coming to your group. It talks about how to improve your profile, how to improve your profile for SEO, for search engine optimization. It tells you how to create a company profile. It tells you how to add products to your company profile, how to um, promote your profile, promote your company profile. Of course, we talk about recommendations. All this stuff is very important. Neil says the two active parts on uh, LinkedIn, you know, creating the most interaction with people, are the groups and the answers. I couldn't agree more with that. Another thing that he talks about is the amount of contacts that we have. I meet a lot of people that talk about LinkedIn as well, and they have about 200 contacts. And I talk to them about how they, you know, why they want to grow for, why they don't want to grow any further with those number of contacts. And they say, I only connect with people that I've shaken hands with, which I think is kind of a weird situation. It looks like you're going to a network event and you only talk to the people that you know. That's a weird way of doing business. That's not, I don't, I don't think you grow your business that way. Anyway, Neil says a good way to think of you know, if you have about the right amount of contacts is you multiply your age by 10 to 20 contacts. Then you have a good idea if you're, if you're um, in the way of uh, amount of contacts. So if you have 200 contacts and you are about 40 years old, then I think you should grow your network on LinkedIn. Actually, Neil says the most important people on LinkedIn for you would be your second degree contacts. So these are the people that are not contact, connected to you directly, they are connected to you via a contact from you. So these people haven't done business with you, probably don't know you well enough, so these are potential new clients for you. So these are the, you know, the, the prospects that you could go after or you know, they could find you more my way. I think it's a great book. It tells you how to you know, make, uh, find buttons on your site. It tells you about new tools that LinkedIn has integrated lately. It tells you, for example, also, which I think is a smart tip as well, how can you, um, you know, search through your address book, for example, on Gmail or you know, AOL or whatever account you're using, because last year, with, you know, in a year, LinkedIn has grown from 70 million to 120 million contacts. So in a year, 50 million new contacts came on board of LinkedIn. So it's a good chance that you're in your contact list on your email address, there are some people there that haven't been on LinkedIn before and they are now on LinkedIn, so you will find them. I would say if you are interested in growing your business using social media and you are in the business to business area, you work with managers or CEOs or um, um, independent professionals, 
LinkedIn is a place to be and this is a good book to read if you want to expand and, to, and learn LinkedIn how to use it for your business. Thank you and you can find me on erinohoney.com.